Hello, this is Charting Man Dan of The Chart Guys, where we teach the little guy and girl how to utilize charts to manage their own trades and investments. What do I mean by the little guy and girl? Well, we just had two directives signed halting the implementation of a rule that requires financial advisors to act in the best interest of their client. Let that sink in a little bit. The big wigs on Wall Street can play with your retirement and hard-earned money without your best interests at heart. We currently have hundreds of members taking charge of their financial future, and we would love for you to come check out a free week with no credit card required to see if our services would be beneficial on your path to financial independence as well. What we offer, we have a separate course of over five hours in length on when to enter and exit positions. And in terms of what we do daily, we have nightly videos, key levels updated each morning before the bell, two and a half hours of live daily web webcam coverage in the morning and in the afternoon, and over seven hours of educational videos. All of these links can be found in the description of this video. Come check us out. Thanks for watching. Let's get on to the technical analysis. Hey everybody, checking in on a bunch of bouncers. I did a video last weekend looking at some names that were setting up for oversold bounces, and this is a check-in. We certainly played some of them. Mostly RAD and GoPro were the most popular. We actually had a bunch of people playing FEYE as well, but let's see how they played out. So checking back, we had, let's see, last week, Friday, was February 10th. So we closed last week here with a nice oversold bounce underway, higher lows and higher highs filling the gap. To start next week, we saw a little bit further upside and then a pullback. And it's to be expected. You can't expect to see just straight up higher lows and higher highs. So the bulls have now established a higher low with a key support at 1124. And it's a double low here Thursday and Friday. And the bulls certainly showed up Friday, closing up near the high. So the bulls are still in control. We have our new level of support to be watching, and that's now our new basis level to be going off of. If we lose this support, we know the bulls are in trouble and they've lost their momentum. But now we're looking back up towards the recent high of 1205, and the middle Bollinger Band daily resistance is going to be down around that level and become resistance that we have to break above in order to get above 1205 to see the higher low and higher high pattern play out as we continue to look up towards the gap fill at 1295. So a nice recovery day by the Bulls. We had some big time upside and some nice follow through to start the week, consolidation midweek, and then to end the week, the Bulls are back strong. So the weekly time frame, we did have a bullish reversal candlestick two weeks ago, and then this past week tried to confirm it. That's not a really convincing bullish reversal confirmation candlestick. So we need to keep in mind that these names are in overall very long-term downtrends so that the oversold bounces on the daily time frame are likely to be short-lived. And look at this middle Bollinger Band weekly resistance. It's been rejecting the price now for six months. The bulls have been unable to turn that level into support. That's going to be in the mid $12 range this coming week. We have to be keeping an eye on that level as well. If the bulls are trying to change this trend from a downtrend to an uptrend, we have to turn that level into support as step number one. So personally, I would definitely be looking to protect profits with either stop losses now utilizing 1124 as key support or just locking in gains on the way up as I do know that that weekly chart is pretty looming for the bulls. Not really much hope with where we currently stand on that trend in terms of longer term upside. Looking at UAA. At the end of last week, we were seeing a little bit of a pullback after we began to see the gap fill. We had 22.16 was the highest price on the gap down day, and we did break that level by only uh, four pennies before we pulled back, and now we established the same thing, a higher low. 21.26 is our new base level of support to be watching, and the bulls are holding on. They need to see some follow-through and a break of 2020 to start filling this gap to the upside. So we're still very tight, not a ton of volatility, not a ton of trading in either direction. But there is still an opportunity here, and it's the same scenario where if we break 21.26, we know the bulls are in trouble short term on this oversold bounce. And the weekly time frame, need to be aware that this is potentially a bear flag, and a bear flag comes after a dump, it's a short term bounce that leads to continuation to the downside. So unless we see some big time follow through up into the $23 range, we're always going to have to be cautious that this is just a short term bounce before continuation to the downside. And right now, the weekly chart, we had a bullish reversal candlestick two weeks ago, and we didn't really get much strong confirmation this coming week as we didn't even break the high. So bulls need to see a break of 2220 this coming week and see some further upside to get that higher low and higher high pattern going. So the more successful bounce plays that ended up playing out, RAD has just been really good 
on this oversold bounce. So we ended last week here. We've seen nothing but upside with higher highs and continuation, and we closed the week strong. Look at the increasing volume three days in a row. We turned the middle Bollinger Band into support, and now that we are breaking 593, we are starting to fill this gap, which would fill at 626. So we've got $6 psychological resistance and then 626, and the bulls are establishing a nice trend here. Our base of support was six was 562. That's our level to be going off of. If we lose that, the bulls are in trouble. But right now, we close the week strong. And the weekly time frame, you can see that's a lot less likely to be a bear flag because of the magnitude bullish reversal candlestick being confirmed. You compare that to UAA, much weaker confirmation candlestick. So RAD bulls, really nice follow through. That's been one of the better bounce plays with gains to be had there where we closed last Friday was at 561. So pretty much a nice 6% gain this past week on RAD. And last we had GoPro. We ended last week with the bullish reversal hammer and the close at the high of the day had us looking for continuation into this coming week, which was last week. And we got it. We got it in a big way. So that close was 890. We got all the way up to 949, 60 cent gain. That's essentially a 6% move as well. And we saw a nice upside. We're seeing consolidation now, but it's healthy consolidation in my opinion because the bulls are buying the dip the last three days and we're not seeing an increase in bearish volume. So this looks like a bull flag of consolidation after a bull move. And I do expect if we hold 912 early next week, I would look for the bulls to head back to 949. If we break 912, same thing, a bit of a red flag, further consolidation coming, bears still in control. So GoPro, same thing. The overall trend is very bearish. We're on the verge of a new all-time low. So I would be scouting for a bearish entry on GoPro just for the potential rewards if we do see the overall market consolidate and that bearish pressure drives GoPro down to a new all-time low. We're still struggling at exponential weekly resistances, and we're not seeing much strength on the weekly time frame. So if we see some further upside, I don't like the position right now for a bearish entry in GoPro because, like I said, I do believe this is some bullish consolidation. But I am going to be scouting GoPro for a bearish entry. Maybe it's going to come after a gap fill that we get all the way up there with a 10% move, but it's possible. I am going to be watching very closely for signs of the bears on the daily time frame for a shot to get to a new all-time low. But as of right now, these oversold bounce plays are still playing out, and they all are looking healthy. Most of them have established a base of support to be looking at and to use as our guide for continuation, and we'll see if we can get those higher highs continuing. RAD is the strongest. I'd put FEYE right behind it after that very bullish Friday. GoPro third and UAA being a bit of a laggard without much upside movement, more sideways trading, but still holding on just fine. So all these names, nice follow through from the video last week, and we'll see how we play out this coming week. I appreciate you watching. Have a great long weekend.